another horn here. That kid's gonna be doing laps for a month. If I say sing, you say hey. Name that tune. If I say who, 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 who is it? It's me. Please, may I come in? Well, I say now, someone has pasted Piglet on my window. <coughs> well, well, who to? <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> Do come in and make yourselves comfortable. Oh. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming it is a rather blustery day outside? Yes, sir, Hal. It's a very, very blustery day outside. Oh, yes. That reminds me. Happy Wednesday, Owl. <laughs> My good fellow, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a Wednesday. Just a gentle spring zephyr. Excuse me, Owl, but... <laughs> is there honey in that pot? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Help yourself. Now, as I was saying, this is just a mild spring zephyr compared to the big wind of 67. Or was it 76? Oh, well, no matter. Oh, I remember the big blow well. I'll remember this one, too. It was the year my Aunt Clara went to visit her cousin. Now, her cousin was not only gifted on the glockenspiel, but being a screech owl, also sang soprano in the London Opera. Thank you, Piglet. You see, her constant practicing so unnerved my aunt that she laid a seagull egg by mistake. Ooh! Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Well, I say now, someone has... Pooh, did you do that? I don't think so. As soon as Christopher Robin heard of the disaster, he hurried to the scene of Owl's misfortune. What a pity. Owl... I don't think we will ever be able to fix it. If you ask me, when a house looks like that, it's time to find another one. That's a very good idea, Eeyore. Might take a day or two, but I'll find a new one. Good. That will just give me time to tell you about my Uncle Clyde, a very independent barn owl. He <laughs> didn't give a hoot for tradition. He became enamored of a pussy cat and went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. <laughs> 